Welcome back guys. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville. Um, obviously we're going on another test drive here and check this out. This one's a 1972 Pontiac GTO. This is a low number car. It was like only like 5,000 made, 400 under the hood. It's also got power steering, power brakes. Four wheel disc brakes all the way around, by the way. Bucket seats. It's also got the floor shifter and the dual exhaust. Of course, we're located in Hendersonville, Tennessee. So you can come down and check us out anytime, about 15 minutes north of Nashville. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. That helps me out quite a bit. What I'm doing here is picking out the flaws, walking around, telling you how it runs and drives. You'll know everything about this car. That's bad before you get here. I like reviewing the bad stuff because uh, a lot of people are buying them from out of state and they want to know that stuff before they get here. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Looking around the interior, place your bets. Do you think the horn works? Little Grant GT steering wheel. Aftermarket gauges below the dash here. So we've got oil pressure, battery, water temp, gas gauge, and vacuum here. I don't know what works yet. This is the first time that I've driven this. I pulled it next door. Just kind of looked around the interior, started the video. You see, everything's in decent shape. And at the end of the video, we're gonna look at all the details inside and on the paint. For now, we'll see how it runs and drives. Let's start it up. Starts up pretty good. Tack on the dash is working up there. Under the dash here, oil pressure gauge is not hooked up. Battery looks like it is. Heat is coming up. Gas gauge is showing full, but I'm stopping somewhere and checking that. I'm not trying to run out. Blower motor. Blower motor's kicking on. The high setting is not working. Just right below it is though. AC is not working. Wipers look new and they are working. Turn signals, left side's blinking and right side's blinking. You can see that on the dash there. The old OG clock here. Anything, sometimes you can pull on it and it'll start working, but original gauges here. Horn, did you place your bets? They hooked it up, it works. Console here is not bad. Only thing I noticed, the hinge is broke. They Velcroed it. That does work there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get buckled up. We're gonna put this in the floor so it doesn't blow out. And I gotta go a different route today because I have to go to the bank. Owe people some money. I gotta go get them. Let's take off. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take off now. I think it's kind of funny that my, my camera goes into super view mode on its own from scene to scene. I like it. So I got y'all set up where you can see everything in here well. Like I said, we're gonna to head to the gas station because I don't feel like running out and pushing this car. I'm gonna let you know if that gauge is true. I hear a bit of an exhaust leak coming from the front. It does have a right pull to it. You see it pulling me off the road there. Squeaky belt. Right pull's not bad. It's just ever so slightly there. Getting into those brakes. A little bit of a yank on the brakes there. good amount of power. You can see when you hit the brakes it kind of darts over a little bit to the right. The car feels pretty good though so far. Engine uh, is showing, or not engine, the speedo is showing we're going way faster. So we're going about 40. It says we're going 45 or 55. So that is not correct. 
It looks like the original oil pressure gauge is hooked up. It's right there in the middle. The one that they got down here, it feels like it's hooked up, but it's not working. Try the radio in this one. So it's like the light's cutting on, but nothing's popping up on the radio. The idle, idle on this one seems a tad high. Not bad. It shows to be sitting around 1100 there. This car's got decent power. As the ride goes, it's nice and smooth. And when you first hit the brakes, kind of darts over like that, and straightens up it's like that. I think that the idle could be adjusted down just a hair. The carburetor that's on it looks fairly new. nice and smooth going down the road here um, I guess next we're gonna go ahead and get some undercarriage shots we'll also pass by the camera uh, we got a gas station up here on the right we're gonna be pulling in and getting some fuel but since we're just kind of slowly cruising through traffic here I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next scene guys I'll be right back thanks So we're up here at the gas station and I don't believe the gas gauge at all. I got $20 worth of fuel in this ride here. Almost five gallons. Put it in behind the tag here. And I already went to the bank, so I got that done. Next up is getting some undercarriage shots. We're probably gonna drive around in the parking lot a little bit. So our original gas gauge is not working up there on the dash and this one's not working as well you see how it's pegged all the way to the right there and then of course the one on the dash isn't doing anything she still starts up really nice um i think i may idle it down a little bit but for now let's find us a good spot to get these videos done i went ahead and turned that idle down a bit you can see i got her around seven or eight hundred now much better that screw was just up too high i just had to idle it down
Got y'all set up on the head cam. We're heading back to the car a lot now. All right. Again, it's that time of year where the sun always affects my cameras, so hopefully it doesn't get too bad. I just know the lighting is a little off here in the fall. So far running and driving, this thing runs great. It does have a lot of chips and scratches that I want you to see. Stick around to the end of the video and check those out. I idled her down just a little bit and got that fixed. It's running great. And it sounds a lot better. She's been staying nice and cool too. Engine temperature's at 170 now. Checking your brakes. Still a little bit of a right pull to them. Good strong motor there. Plenty of power. Got nice silky steering too. Feels good. Decent little bump in the road right here. Pretty smooth, barely heard a little shake. Sounded like it was coming from the jack in the trunk though, which I'll be going over the trunk as well. I already did that portion of the video, but I'm gonna put it at the end here. So sticking around to the end is a must if you're interested in buying this. That way you see all the details. All right, guys, I think this test drive went well. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. I'm going to get another ride in next up, picking out the flaws. Thanks for watching. All right, picking out the flaws. Let's walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Up close and personal. Here we go. It's coming up on the front end here. See where they painted the bumpers. It's got some light little cracks in the paint job on the bumpers. A little pitting on the inside of the grill. Chips and stuff on the edge there. Cracks right here in the side. Come down the lower portion. Light scratch coming down the side here. See where it's been fixed here in the corner. Cracks in the back here. Little scuffs up top that can buff out. Little scuffs back here too. Door handle on this one looks good. scratch the blemish on top of the fender there scuff some scuffs up here on top front windshield on this one looks decent trim looks good all the way around it mirror Nice and clean. 
a little high on the edge there, but this vinyl top is in good shape. A little ding here in the trim. Little bubbles there below the trim in your package tray. We got new carpet. Be checking that out here in a moment. Coming back. Your back bumper, not bad. A crack there. Coming up your jams. The seal looks good. The chip there. Looks like a little fiberglass. In the trunk there. It's been painted. Foam. Package tray, not bad. Got some more foam sprayed over here. Looking up around your trunk lid. Little cracks there on the edge. Coming on down with the trunk lid. Keys are in the ignition. And it's shut. On top of the wing here, you got some cracks. Look down close. There's some on the back here. Scratch and a scratch. A scratch there. Scuff up top. Coming down your lower portion here. You got some chips above the rear. A spot in the back there. Cracks, chips in the middle of the door. Some blemishes there, paint run up here. like overspray there paint runs in the middle of the fender mirrors in good shape there chips in the middle of the door Chrome handle looks good. More chips in the middle of the door there. Vinyl top on this one on this side looks good. On that back side, back window's in good shape, trim looks good. Windows, not bad at all. Do got some chips up here on this pillar. Dings right there on your trim. Front windshield, you got a chip right here. Coming across the top of that fender. A little scratch there. Chips on this edge. Well, made it around. Let's check out the inside and then we'll listen to that motor. Door panel on this one looks pretty good. The seal around it, not bad. Little spots popping up there, the bottom part of the door. Yeah. 
You're getting your jam. Got some spots right there. Carpet missing. Chip on the back side of the seat there. You see on the edge here, a couple little chips. Looking at the seat itself though, it's in good shape. Same with the back side of it. Little wrinkles there in the headliner in the back. Same with the other side there in the corner. Jump it in here. Dash pad on this one is nice and clean. You got a little emblem missing there. You know, I think I saw it in here. There's a little bit of information about the ride. There's the emblem. Good deal. CD changer. It's that time of year where the sun is just beating up the video. We'll go ahead and start her. Gas gauge didn't work, oil pressure's not hooked up. Temp gauge is good and the vacuum is hooked up there. Does look like the oil pressure gauge is moving a little bit there as I touch the throttle. down now where it needs to be and it sounds pretty good the edge of that hood has got some chips Up under the hood is not too bad. It's nice and clean on the fender wells and in the front here. Coming down with the hood, I did notice, got a shaker back and forth, a little stiff on the hinges. And then, I'll make sure that goes back in so that you can shut it. Your hinges are sitting a little high too, so we'll push them down. crack right here Little chip there all right guys I appreciate you watching if you're new to the channel hit subscribe share this video that helps me out detail pictures finance and shipping maplemotors.com I'll see you in the next video guys thanks for watching